Traveling is probably one of the best pleasures to ever exist. Taking that first step out of our comfort zone often takes us to places we'd never imagine exploring. Maybe a historic, rich city, or a far-off community. Either way, more often than not, the best destinations always end up being those where you rediscover yourself and new relationships emerge. Hey, it's Lexi Limitless, and today I'm with Google Arts and Culture to share with you five lessons learned by photographer and designer Angelo Chiacchio during his journey around the world. In 2018, European designer and photographer Angelo Chiacchio set out on a solo journey around the world to closely explore humankind's relationship with Earth. This led him to experience the most unique places and ways of life on our planet. The fragility of some natural habitats and the cultural diversity of the communities he visited taught him a thing or two about our journey through life. When Angelo went back to Basilicata, the rural region of Italy where he spent his childhood, he learned that preserving the traditional practice of pig farming in the community had been left in the hands of the few that remained. To preserve the tradition, families would come around during pig butchering season to prepare the traditional recipe that would provide them with meat for the entire year. With only a few pigs in the hamlet, they would only produce what they would consume, creating a harmonious balance between human and animal. A thousand miles away in the small village of Nibutani in Hokkaido, Japan, we find the indigenous Ainu people. Different from the typical Japanese culture, Ainu traditions are based on the belief that all creatures and objects have a spirit that promotes an intimate relationship with the natural world. Thus, when the Ainu take bark from a tree to do their craftsmanship, they show gratitude and respect towards that tree. Then they mark the tree to allow it time to recover. With increasing temperatures due to climate change, reindeer herding in northern Mongolia is at risk. Yet from generation to generation, the Tsa'atan people have dedicated their lives to preserving this long-standing tradition. They search for the best grazing locations for their reindeers, enduring cold and harsh weather to ensure they're safe and healthy, sacrificing their comfort for the sake of their beloved animals. On the other side of the world, Mount Roraima lies among the forests of Venezuela. It's a 400 meter high tepui that, according to the Torapan people, is the stump of a legendary tree that once held all of the fruits and vegetables of the world. For that reason, when visiting the rocky mountaintop, you're expected to keep silent and step only where previous visitors have walked, as a sign of profound respect. If there is one thing the Maori people have fought for in the past centuries, it is their heritage. After enduring a challenging past, it is widely feared that the Maori would cease to exist. However, the Maori's profound respect and pride for their heritage and ancestors is what has kept them alive. Every Maori introduction starts with reciting one's genealogy or huaka papa, a way of celebrating their deep connection to their roots. At the end of his journey, Angelo took home the best souvenirs traveling could get him, the ones that money can't buy. He learned about what makes this world beautiful, vulnerable, and one of its kind. Experiences that you can only learn when stepping out of your comfort zone. Traveling has no rule book, so take advantage of this to explore your dream destinations, become imbued with its culture, all while using the resources you have at hand. It doesn't have to be flashy, time consuming or expensive, but engaging and fun. We hope these lessons help you kickstart your next adventure. Safe travels.